Okay, so Beat Saber has, um, well, not Beat Saber, sorry, BMBF has updated to uh, work with um, Beat Saber version 1.19.1. Um, the BMBF version has remained the same. Um, so if you go over to the BMBF stable releases site, it's still just the the old um, 1.15.0 version of BMBF. Um, but yeah, I'm, as far as I can tell, that will just work with 1.19.1, even though it says, I don't think this has been updated yet, but uh, this this all started started to be added yesterday, I, I saw um, in Discord, there was um, a new channel, 1.19.1 mods, and the 1.17.1 mods channel had gone. Um, so yeah, we'll go over some stuff. Um, Let's look at the... Uh, so yeah, the released mods for this so far, um, the verified ones are Pink Core, Song Downloader, Quest UI, Playlist Manager, Song Loader, Code Gen, Custom Test, basically the, the most of the, sort of the, yeah, the core mods. Um, over on Discord, um, this is what I was talking about. You've got the Quest Mods 1.19.1. This is on the BSMG Discord. I'll post links for everything in the description um, for all the different bits and bats. Um, so at the moment we've got uh, Counters, uh, Vent, it's just um, uh, uh, Among Us, that's it. It's, I think you literally click on the Vent to exit the game. Um, no Promo, and what's this? Oh yeah, they, they've got a few here. So, custom JSON data, Chroma, some new things for Chroma as well. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, Noodle, and that's it at the moment. So, it's very early days. Um, I would say if you're on 1.17.1 at the moment, um, stay on that for now. Um, that's what I'm on, and I've got so many mods and like the the render mod and stuff from Hemwell that there's no real reason for me to update at the moment. But um, if you really are wanting to update, then I'll show you how. Um, I'll go over the previous patches from. 1.17.1 up to 1.19.1 so you can make a decision if you do want to update because there's obviously a few things that were released with the game that you can't use because they came after 1.17.1 um, so the first one was 1.18.0 back in September uh, this was the Billie Eilish music pack it was a paid DLC so you'll still have to buy that if you do want to play it um, music pack selection UI, added new light event system, variable, B variable BPM support, uh, visual tweaks, and uh, yeah, a new environment. So that's that one. Then the next one was 1.18.2. I think that was the yeah the Halloween themed environment and the new song Spooky Beat. Um, where's the log? Uh, multiplayer badges. I think this might have been. PlayStation only, I don't know, uh, but yeah, mainly the Halloween uh, themed stuff and some bug fixes. And then after that, we had 1.19.0 uh, in December. That was the Lady Gaga music pack. Um, can't remember if this was paid or not, but I'm guessing it probably is. Um, yeah, that's it for that one and. Then 1.19.1 was released February 14th. Um, new multiplayer server architecture, added small tweaks and fixes. Some fixes basically, was there anything else? Um, yeah, so that's about it. So that's what, if you don't update from 1.17.1 at the moment, that's kind of what you're missing out on. Um, but apart from that, it's no big deal I don't think. Um, if you go over to questboard.xyz you can obviously read the news posts um, and you can go to released mods 
and you can keep an eye on this. Although going by um, previously with 117.1, it takes quite a while for the, the mods that get released on Discord to be verified and put on here. Um, anything you see on here is visible within BMBF when you go to download mods. Um, but the majority of the mods, really, if you want to get them sooner rather than later, will be in the Quest Mods channel on Discord. So I suggest just becoming a member of that and checking this. Um, so yeah. Um, I will show you now if you want to update um, BMBF. Um, I'll just stop this here and connect my headset. Okay, headset's connected. Um, one thing I always recommend doing first, um, this is only if you're updating from a previous version. If you're installing the game brand new, you can just ignore this. Um, would be to go to, sorry, let me get off this. Um, so you go into your file up here. Your headset's connected, obviously. Um, and you want to go to Android, Data, and then scroll down until you see Com Beat Games Beat Server. Then you go into Files, and you want to save your avatar data. And the default path uh, is C users username, blah 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 blah. Um, I like to change this, change it to downloads or something, just so it's easier to find. Um, so save that. So that's avatar data, local daily leaderboards, leaderboards, and player data, and your settings config. So basically these are just all your scores, um, how you've got your settings set up in game, your sort of um, your avatar, your character, uh, if you've got that set up a certain way. If you don't copy these over, they'll just be it'll all be wiped. Um, so and then all you do is once you've installed Beat Saber again, reopen side quest, come back to this page, uh, and you can just drag and drop. Uh, you drag them and drop them on the side quest logo up here, and it will just plop them back in. Um, so yeah, it's good to back those up. I've I've done it a couple of times where I've rushed to update BMBF and Beat Saber, and then I'm like, oh, I haven't backed up my stuff, and yeah, then you have to you lose all your scores. That's the worst thing. Um, so that's that. Uh, so if we go back to um, BMBF. So yeah, if you go to bmbf.dev forward slash stable, I'll put a link in the description, scroll down and you can get the BMBF APK here. And then what I suggest doing is, because um, the, the, the BMBF devs have said in the past that you can update Beat Saber and you don't have to delete BMBF and Beat Saber, but when I've tried it in the past, it doesn't seem to work. So I just like to delete Beat Saber um, inside Quest. So uninstall and BMBF uninstall that. Um, then you would uh, download Beat Saber again, which would be the 1.20 version then you would need to downgrade that version to 1.19.1. 1. Um, I've got a video already up, a fast downgrade guide. It's a three minute video. Um, I'll post a link in the description. What you would do is follow that guide, uh, downgrade, choose 1.19.1 1. 1 instead of in that video previously, I was suggesting 1.17.1. 1. 1. Um, and then you would install BMBF as normal. Um, if you follow the instructions on their website, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, that is about it. Um, nothing else in there. We'll have a quick look in the BMBF. 
Discord. Oh yeah, a little snippet. They are working on BMBF2. It's a brand new BMBF. I saw that in the uh, Unicorn chat, I think, somewhere. They were talking about it, but it's a long way off and it's not available at the moment, so I wouldn't worry about it. I'll do an update once it is available. Um, yeah. Anything else? No, that seems about it. So, yeah, if you do want to update, then you can, but if you're on 1.17.1 and you have loads of mods installed and you've got everything set up nice, I don't see that much of a reason to update. It would be nice to have the new environments, um, and there's a few updates and stuff with the lighting uh, and that, but I'm not going to buy these paid DLCs anyway so I think uh, out of everything I'd like the um, the Halloween, the, sp the spooky stuff and the spooky environment because it looked pretty cool um, but it's no biggie and I don't think um, I don't think it'll take them too long to get the the mods sort of up and running um, so the main thing to keep an eye on for now is the BSMG Discord quest mods channel um, and once you start seeing all the mods that you currently use in here then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't update um, I will be holding off especially until I get the all clear from Henwell that the render mod uh, will work with uh, the 1.19.1 version um, but yeah that's about it if I've missed anything I'll pop it in the comments or something so yeah Cool, thanks.